Comfort Keepers, providing senior care in Chapel Hill and Durham. Good afternoon. I'm Helen Antibot, the owner and operator of Comfort Keepers of Durham and Chapel Hill. I'm here today with Doug Koenig. Doug Koenig is a Durham elder law attorney. His practice focuses on estate plans, wills, and trusts, Medicaid, and veterans benefits. He has original roots in the South and came to Durham after living in Michigan for a few years. Doug is VA accredited. Doug and I are here today to discuss veterans benefits. Doug, tell us a little bit about VA benefits. Well, Helen, thanks for asking. The The uh, veterans benefits are are composed of two different parts. The ones we typically work with are service-connected disability, which is uh, related to when a veteran has been injured in the service and they receive compensation mm -hmm. for that. Uh, the one that you're probably more likely to see is the, the ones related to pension, uh, where pension is, is uh, money that's given to the veteran based on their need, and, and uh, that can be applied to the sorts of services that you provide. Doug, can you elaborate a little bit on the different types of pension? Sure. So there are three kinds of pension benefits. Uh, first one, the very basic level, is called basic pension. And then there's housebound. And the last one, the more extensive of the services, is called aid and attendance. And the, a veteran who, who needs some essential services could qualify for basic, but as they need more and more mm -hmm services provided to them, they may qualify for as much as the aid and attendance, which is aid and attendance of a service such as yours. So Doug, how does a person know they are eligible for VA benefits? That's a good question and it's, it's a, a complicated but simple answer. So uh, essentially the, a person must qualify first militarily. They have to have served during the right periods of time, during a period of war defined by Congress. And then they have to uh, further need actual medical care. Mm -hmm. so, so I like to think of this as three M's, mm -hmm. the first being like military, that. the second being uh, uh, medical. And in that, they need to, have, they need to require the kinds of care that, that uh, typical of uh, caregivers. Uh, they would need to help with the activities of daily living. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know what, what those typically are going to involve is mobility and transport and t toileting and that kind of thing. And then the, the third category is the third M is monetary. So the aid and attendance benefit, for example, pensions in general are based on the need and, that's, and that means that the, the veteran must actually need the assistance medically and need the assistance because their finances are too low to afford it. So Doug, I've seen clients try to do this on their own and they do something wrong and it goes to the end of the, at the bottom of the pile, I should say. Is that correct? It is. And unfortunately, if a, if a mistake is made in the application, uh, it, sure. the VA could reject it or they could put it at the bottom of the pile, as you say. The, the, uh, the time frame for the, the, there's a new program the VA introduced in June of last year, so about a year ago, uh, that was uh, called the Fully Developed Claim Process. And if all the information is in the first time, then, then the application has a better chance of being approved in the four to six month time frame. But if there's a single mistake, uh, a, a space on the application instead of a zero, for example, they will reject it and potentially it could sit in the bottom of the two-year pile. Now it is true that you will get, if you're approved, you'll get money from the date of the initial application, but if, you, if you've had to wait a year, some veterans may not have enough money to afford the care that they need during that long mm -hmm. period of wait. So it's very important that the form be done correctly the first time. Thank you so much for watching our video today. Comfort Keepers does provide in-home care for seniors and other adults who might need it. We uh, do accept VA benefits and long-term care insurance, and we do support you trying to get those benefits and working with uh, providers that might help in getting those benefits for you. Thank you again, and I am Helen Antipoff, and I am a Comfort Keeper. Contact us to see how we can help. Comfort Keepers, comforting solutions for in-home care.